Hi, my loves, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. All right, you guys, so this is going to be your August reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right, guys, so for all of you guys that are new to the channel, welcome. For those of you guys that are returning, I'm so glad to have you. If you haven't already subscribed, feel free to subscribe, as that is always greatly appreciated. If you guys are interested in winning a free reading, there are a couple of options. So all of my subscribers on YouTube are entered in a giveaway every single month. And on Instagram, we do different giveaways every single week. So usually it's on Saturdays. I also have daily energies there. So whenever I feel called to do a daily energy, it's usually sometimes they're a minute. Most of the time they're about five to six minutes long. So if you guys are interested in more content or just having the chance to win free readings, free questions, free extendeds, then feel free to follow me on Instagram. The link will be in the description box below. I've also added my personal Instagram for those of you guys that are interested in getting to know me on a more personal level. I will also be sharing the journey of me launching my second business on there. So for those of you guys who are wanting to start a business or start a YouTube channel, because I'll be starting a second YouTube channel and I will be taking you guys along the process of me doing that. So feel free to follow me there. There's also stuff related to fashion, motivations, spirituality all that kind of stuff is what I will be posting over there all right guys so I have added a little list um, in the description box below and it is a list of tarot cards that I'm interested in so if any of you guys feel called to donate to the channel then you um, would just go to that list and pick whatever deck that you feel called to um, to purchase and then that deck would be sent to me so I just made that list because I did notice that a couple of other people had that and there is a huge difference when somebody gets you a gift and when you purchase the gift for yourself so from now on I was like I'm just gonna slowly get my decks whenever they were meant to get whenever they're meant to come towards me so that is the reason why I have that list there and I appreciate every single one of you who have already sent me decks and for those of you who in the future decide to send me them I thank you guys so much all right, guys, so we are just going to jump in with your reading now. Everything you need for personal readings will be in the description box below. For this entire month, I have a sale on the one question readings. So the one question readings are going to be on sale for 11 11. So feel free to take advantage of that if you feel called to. And otherwise, we're just going to jump right into your reading. Have a beautiful rest of your day, guys. Hi, my beautiful aquas. All right, guys, so we're gonna go back to when I first started this channel and I would just pull messages. So they're gonna be for singles, those of you in relationships, career, finances, whatever I pull is what I'm gonna get. Um, I did something new today and I was in love with it. So I did a live reading and it was amazing and I answered some free questions at the end. So I decided as another way to give back to you guys, um, I'm going to do live readings on Instagram and they're going to be pop up. So if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me now to be part of these giveaways. So what I'm going to do is every week I'm going to pop up randomly and I feel the need to pop up instead of let you guys know when they're going to be just so that it will resonate with whoever needs it the most. I feel that the people that are going to tap in to those lives, it, they're just going to need it the most. But you can also just put your notifications on so that you'll see when the live is. And I'll be doing three questions. So 10 to 15 free questions every single week at a pop-up time. So if you're not following me on IG, go ahead. And then also today is the day for the giveaway. So if you want to participate in a 15 minute giveaway, you guys can follow me on IG and um, all you have to do is just like the photo, comment on the photo, and then you're automatically entered in the giveaway to win a free 15 minute reading. So that is going to be finished tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard. All right, guys, so let's see what we can get for you. The Queen of Swords, cutting people off. That's instantly what I'm getting. Some of you guys are definitely cutting people off here. Yeah, because with the Ten of Pentacles and the Death card, you're going through a transitional period here. A huge transformation. Some of you may be cutting off a Scorpio or you may have somebody who, well, you may have Scorpio in your chart or you may have somebody who has Scorpio placement who is a huge aspect of your life right now, but you're definitely going through a transformation and you're realizing that something needs to die in order for something new to transform. Some of you, this is that you are well some of you might be ending a marriage and you may be worried about your finances it looks like you're actually going to be very fine well off financially and it looks like this person could have actually been tapering with the financial abundance that you were meant to get so once you're actually this divorce goes through it looks like there's going to be plenty of opportunities for you to get married for those of you that are going through a divorce here 
Others of you, you're going to notice that the more you cut out the people and the things that no longer serve you, the more abundance you end up creating within your life, family-wise, um, friendship-wise, I'm even hearing, and financially here. But I definitely see that you're really focused on the long term when it comes to your relationships here. Some of you guys are in long-term relationships. If you're married here, I feel like there's going to be some sort of transformation going on. Um, some of you guys may feel as if your partner is holding back. Or as if your partner is being a little bit harsh, a little bit cold throughout this time, know that your person has finances on the mind, especially if you know that they're not working as much. Um, even just this whole quarantine thing has scared a lot of people. And, you know, I definitely know because I am an energy sucker. I, can, I get everybody's energy. And of course, I do all these things to cleanse the energies. But during quarantine, when it first started, I was barely uploading because everybody's energy was just so down. And... I felt it everywhere I went like it was horrible so for some of you it's like there's something about everything that happened since quarantine even just if you're dealing with somebody or if you yourself like to have a sense of control realizing that you know no matter how hard you work you can't control everything right because some of you guys worked so hard to do certain things that you had planned to do during quarantine and then you realize once quarantine hit that you worked all that hard but you still can't do it because now we're restricted right so there's definitely something going on within your person and if they're distant kind of just leave them and allow them to come to you when the time is right because i definitely feel like they're dealing with some deep-rooted things that are coming to the surface um and it may have to do with fears as well so this person is just kind of meant to kind of just have their own time right now and they'll come to you when the time is right and for some of you they may just figure it out on their own and then you know you'll notice that they snap back to normal but some of you are definitely going to be noticing some difference within the person that you're dealing with or your partner especially if you're married some of you definitely have an ex coming back into your life here i don't know why i'm getting this but i'm getting the green eyed monster so some of you guys have an ex that's coming back because they want something from you you're being called to see the situation for what it is, to realize that this is a cycle that has ended and that you're only going to repeat the same thing if you go back with this person. Whatever progress you've made since you left this person, you can easily have that wiped out if you bring this person's energy back around. So, yeah, if you kind of know that you shouldn't take back an ex, but you're kind of like still like wanting to, that's like a, a major warning for you guys because I'm, I'm pretty much getting that take this person back you're going to realize never to take them back you'll never question it again after what's going to happen if you do so i don't know what kind of crazy okay one second somebody this is somebody that you were married to i'm going to do that again Yeah, I, I just saw the King of Swords. Some of you, this is definitely somebody that you're married to. Otherwise, this is just a married couple that I'm talking about here. Some of you are going to meet the person that you're meant to be with at a bank. Um, you're going to be talking to a teller and this is somebody who's going to be walking to their office. It's going to be like some sort of love at first. This is like a movie that I'm seeing in my head here. So that's probably just, I'm hearing for three of you, you're going to meet your love interest at a bank and this is going to be the investment banker or the financial planner at the bank. So I don't know what that is. Um, Ten of Wands here. If you're working on a project, I feel like giving up, keep going because you're about to see success here. I also feel like something that you've been working on that hasn't been getting enough attention is about to blow up. So this is showing me that all your hard work is paying off, but at the same time that if you're working too hard, you really need to balance it out. So you really need to spend some time focusing on self-care, focusing on relaxing, right? So if you're gonna work hard throughout all the week, then on the weekends, you need to take that time for yourself. But if you keep working, 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 you're going to drain yourself out. A lot of you, though, it goes back to what I was saying in the beginning, is that you're just going to realize that so much dead weight has been lifted off your shoulder once you leave a situation with someone. Yeah, the Empress, the Ten of Wands to the Empress, that just means that after something that was burdening you, after you release it, you end up glow. It's that glow up after that breakup that 
with that person that you thought was everything, right? So you hold on, you hold on, and then you find out that, you know, they were with someone else or something crazy, right? Some tower moment comes out of nowhere, which makes you end up leaving this person. And yes, it feels like it's devastating and it feels like your life is turning upside down. But then you realize that you glow up the second you release that energy. And let me tell you guys, especially if you feel weak around a person, if you feel, if you're not a codependent person and somebody makes you feel codependent, they're draining your energy. Um, if you feel weak around a person or if you feel very strange or very off a couple days, like within three days after you see somebody, just know that that person is not on the same wavelength as you and they are definitely using your energy to make themselves feel better or to make themselves it's kind of like for some of you it's to make themselves feel better but for others of you it's just like when you're around them they like feel like they're in this like dream land it's almost like a movie some of you are dealing with somebody who's definitely told you a lot of lies and you may notice slowly that things aren't adding up here um because of all those lies it's like they get to live a movie life with you you may be the only one that doesn't really know the truth about this person this person likes to, especially if you're dating somebody casually and you've already caught them in like weird little lies. Um, this person does that a lot because the people that know this person, like this could be somebody who has a lot of money, but they have no friends or, you know, um, they've burnt every bridge that they ever came across. Right. It's that person that ends up very, very rich, but ends up being very, very lonely because they were so focused on money and focused on, you know, how people think of them, focused on the superficial, right? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm just going to pull the one, the three of wands. You know, it's crazy we have the three of wands and the three of pentacles i just did a live video a bonus video um if you guys would prefer your videos live i actually enjoyed it so if you guys would prefer your videos live leave me a comment below and maybe i'll do some more um like some live videos like it won't be often but maybe one of your four weeklies maybe i'll pick 12 people a month or each sign will get one live a month um out of the four videos that i do upload but three of wands three of pentacles if you're dealing with a Pisces, Taurus, or Scorpio, go look at their live video that I just did because they got the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Wands here. Um, but Three of Wands, Three of Pentacles, it looks like your ships are coming in when it comes to your career, when it comes to your finances. Some of you guys are going to be working as a team. Some of you guys are going to be getting a team. So there's something about you getting a higher position, which requires you to have an assistant. That's amazing. Congratulations. Um, others of you here, you're moving in with the person that you're dating and you're going to start building a family and this is something that you've been wanting for such a long time and you're finally getting it something that you've been wanting for such a long time and you've been putting so much work or so much energy into whether you've been physically putting that energy into or you've just been thinking and knowing that you wanted it for such a long time you're finally about to have it and it is going to come in so suddenly so quickly and it may take you like this is something big all right so like it may take you a couple days to really take in what you know what's crazy you guys you know i didn't really take in this business and what i built until like yesterday something happened yesterday i don't remember why can i not remember what it was um i had a live reading with someone and it was just the i love when i work with you guys one-on-one -on -one when we do live readings it is just my favorite thing in the world I had a live reading with somebody and she made me realize everything about like what I've built throughout the beginning to now and she just I don't know sometimes you guys send like message me or you email me and you give me certain comments and it just makes me know that everything I'm doing is for a reason and that I really am on my divine purpose my divine plan because I truly do believe that this is my soul's purpose but of course, we're not always going to be very confident every day. We're not always going to be 100% assured, right, of what our life's purpose is, of what our life's plan is. It's, you know, quite easy to, for us to actually get off, steered off that path. But yeah, I had a live reading and she definitely reassured me. 
So it's like for some of you guys, it's like you're going to finally be, you're finally going to have that reassurance. You're finally going to get that, you know, maybe it's recognition, whatever it is. For some of you, it's an approval of somebody. Maybe this could be your parent. Maybe your parent wants you to have, you know, some corporate job and you wanted to go off on your own and you finally get to a point of success, right? Especially if you have a business, because this is that three year thing. Every business owner always says after three years, your business takes off, especially if you really struggled. That three year mark is when it, I don't know if they call it the lucky th third year. I don't know what it is that they call it here, but um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. And I definitely feel like, um, some of you, this is about approval from your parents, from somebody that you know, but you are definitely getting approval in some way of what it is that you're doing and that you are on the right path, the right purpose. So that is amazing. Uh, some of you also may be getting some sort of dreams or number synchronicities that somebody that had passed on that is trying to connect with you, showing you again that you are on the right path and that they are proud of you. All right. Whew. Let's take a look at some messages. Let's get some Oracle messages. So strong energies, Scorpio is the main energy here. Um, if you want a personal reading to go based on or to get more information about you, your person, or just you in general, the link will be in the description box below. Otherwise, I just thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I truly appreciate every single one of you guys. So we have, oh, this, this card actually just came out um, for Capricorn. So if you're dealing with a Capricorn, you could check out Capricorn. Um, so wait, it's not time yet. Things are being woven. So like I said, some of you guys, you're not yet aware of your true purpose. You're not yet aware of your true potential, but it is about to come out. Things are in the process. The universe is working with you to put your plans into place here. And also for some of you, I'm getting this weight is like, don't give up yet. Just wait because you aren't aware of your true potential. You aren't aware, right? You haven't gotten, what was I saying that it was, um, that recognition or that approval yet. So wait, keep going. Inner temple devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. Some of you definitely need to work on your heart chakra here. Some of you guys have things that emotional things that you've been keeping in that you really need to say and once you do you're going to realize that you start healing whether this is somebody that you need to go off on from the past whether this is somebody you owe an apology to from the past or whether this is your current relationship your boss whatever the situation is you really need to speak i'm hearing your throat chakra too but it is going to um ultimately heal your heart all right guys so that is what i have for you again personal readings in the description box below i hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you guys soon. Take care.